Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the SNES Part 5. And in the last part we finished up the Palace of Darkness and got our first crystal. And now we're about to work our way to the Swamp Palace, our second destination in this dark world. I'm trying to think if there's any other task we need to do before we go there, and nothing is really coming to mind, so... Why not? Let's hit the Swamp Palace next. Yeah, we gotta backtrack out through all this mess. Hopefully there's a short way of doing it. Okay, I guess that works out. Alright, let's dash our way right through that plant. Oh god, I almost crashed right into him. Love the Dark World music. Awesome stuff. I'm gonna kill those guys. And now... Actually, I want to go get that magic powder first before we continue. That would be an excellent idea. Get over here, piggies. Time to send you back to the market. Ha ha ha. I made another bad joke. Okay, throw this stone skull in the water. Ah, no fish came out. Oh man, that plant almost left right on top of me. Kill you. There we go. And I'm gonna get my magic mirror out, go back to the light world. So we can give that mushroom to the witch. Okay, let's get our mushroom out. And give it to her. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. <laughs> I'm sure. Alright, now let's go off screen, come back. Enter the shop, and what we are looking for should be there, hopefully. Aha! Magic powder! This is magic powder. Try to sprinkle it on enemies and many other things. Sure. Hmm, let me see. Actually, you know what? I want to go back in there for something. I am going to buy the blue potion for 160, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, this is the medicine of life and magic. You can recover both. Yes, that's why I love the blue medicine the most. Get everything back. Alright, we're done here. Ah, it's stupid buzz blob. You eat freeze now. And you're gonna get hammered into ice cubes. And I slammed the mallet on your case. My Master Sword really looks like a laser sword. With that shining blue color. It really looks like Colgate toothpaste, too. Very minty, fresh looking sword. Okay, now that we got our magic powder. Oh god. Gotta fend off a ton of enemies. Oh, the Cyclops actually hit those uh, bull knights with a bomb. <laughs> All right, we needed the magic. We need the magic mallet to get through here. The magic hammer, to bash those pegs down, which takes us to another portion of the dark world. Now we can go this way, and where Link's house used to be is now a bomb shop. And we really can't do much with the bomb shop right now, so let's go down here. Actually, while we're in the neighborhood, we could actually get the Bombos medallion too. The final medallion. So let's go get it. I mean, I could actually find some use for it. And to get it, you want to go down here. I'll not do that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go through here. Oh boy. With this giant stone. Crush that plant. Now we want to get in between the pegs over here. And we're going to whip out the mirror. And use it. Now we gotta get the Book of Mudra out. Oh, dude, continue game. Didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> okay. Let's whip open the Book of Mudra. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the Magic of Bombos. And we get to demonstrate it on this poor innocent vulture. You fry and die. This is the Bombos Medallion. This magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. 
And now we got all three medallions. Oops. All right, now we're done here. Now let's see where we can go. I'll tell you where these guys are going though when I'm through with them. Hell! Hyrule's Hell, whatever rendition of that that may be. Alright, now for the Swamp Palace, there's actually one thing we gotta do before we enter. Yeah, we can't enter it yet, we have to go back to the Light World first. Because we gotta do that thing I mentioned, remember? We have to activate that water in here. So we can drain it in the Dark World. Or actually fill it up in the Dark World, I mean. Because opening the Gate of Water will affect the Dark World Dungeon. Time paradoxes for the confusion. Alright, now that we drain the water, or unlock the water, now we can actually... Now we can actually access this dungeon. See? The water from the Light World poured over into the Dark World's dungeon over here. Alright, now that we got the flippers, we can swim over here now. Now onward with the Swamp Palace. And maybe if I'm lucky, I can probably fit the Skull Forest dungeon in too. That would be awesome, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Oh god. Alright, got a key. We gotta watch out for those water demons. They'll try to come up and home in and on ya. They got like water tektites. Water insects, I don't know what they are. Aw, oh, damn it. Stupid fire statues. Hate them. You want to turn around and shield up on them occasionally. It will be annoying otherwise. Unlock this door down here. Yeah, I would not recommend swinging your sword here. Just kill the red Stalfos with your magic boomerang. It's easier. Plus you got this stupid fire snake going around. And every time you swipe your sword, you'll activate that cannon. It shoots off fire every time you swing your sword, so you gotta be careful. Alright, let's go down here. There's actually a key we can find underneath the skull jar. And as you can see, we can't access over here without flooding this hallway with water. Okay, actually we have to go up the staircase over here. Break this, and up here. Alright, this is where we can actually alter the water's course and everything. The skeleton. Go to Stalfos. Let's see, get this hammer. Pound down these moles, and we're gonna push the switch from this direction. Ah, oh, all that spring water looks inviting. I think we can bomb this wall. Let me check. Yes, we can. Bomb. Okay, what do we got? Rubies and bombs. Kinda worth it, I guess. Now let's leap down here into the water, and now we can climb up this ladder. Access this next portion. Alright, now we're in pretty much the main room of the dungeon. Well, the main giant treasure room. Ow, and I got hit by a stray fish. That hurt. Alright, I think we want to go this way first. I got a fire snake again. Watch out for that. Yeah, you might want to just use the pots. They're safer. You don't want to be swinging your sword around, especially with that cannon. That fire snake moving around the way it is. It's pretty risky. And another key. However, for this one, we want to go... Yeah, you can't move those blocks at all, so don't even try. It's a waste of time. What you have to do is you have to set off the water in that other room. And you need the key to access that room. This water thing. Oh god, another fish wheel. He almost ran into me. I'm gonna unlock this top door here. You know what? You die! Oh man, I was hoping that bomb would have one shot at him. But that wasn't the case. I'm gonna try to poke this. There we go, that works. I'm just gonna ignore that red electric blob enemy. Now we set off the water in that room. And let me see. I'm gonna hit 
this again. And we're gonna have to go around. So I think we want the orange uh, blocks down. The orange blocks are actually blocking the path to the big key if I remember correctly. Yeah, just all right. Now this room's filled up with water. Now we can actually access the other side here. Yeah, we got some returning enemies from Zelda One here. We got Zoles. They come out from the ground. Here he is. Hello, Zol. Goodbye, Zol. And more fire snakes. And blue buzz blobs. Right, let's quickly go this way. No reason for us to go north at all. Oh, another Zol. Die. Give me your bomb. Push this block out. Alright, this room is going to be a little nasty. We've got to dodge a whole lot of stuff in here. What we got to do is get over here, push this block. Whoa. And hopefully I did this block puzzle. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Yeah, the orange had to be down. Hooray for remembering. Alright, in this room we finally get our prize, the big key. Alrighty, now we can get that hookshot. Yes, the hookshot is the item of this dungeon. Alright, let's try to jump down here. Kill you. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Oh god. I hate those friggin' water sprites. Annoying. Yeah, you can't kill those other fire snakes. I don't know what a fire snake is doing in a water-themed dungeon like this, anyhow. Makes no sense. You'd think you'd have a water snake instead. Alright, let's get up here and get our hook shot. Yay! Boing! This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts and boing! It can grapple many things. <laughs> Hope you like my boing! Yeah, that didn't sound right. Anyways, let's hook shot over here. Yeah, we got a key. Dodge all these fish of death. Okay, where we want to go now... Um, let's hook shot a... Uh, actually, we'll hook shot straight over here now. Now that we got a key, we can actually unlock this door. Now, I think we want to go... That bastards, I hate them, see? They're so annoying. I think we go through this door, I'm not, I'm not sure. Don't really remember, but let's try it anyway. I don't know if this is the right room or not. I think this might be, let me try. I don't think so. Yeah, we have to hit it from the other side. Yep, this is the wrong way. Zelda likes to fool you. Die. Crack your head open with a mallet. Or with a jar. Over here, watch out for this water sprite. And... Oh, I think I see what we need to do here. I think you need that statue to uh, open up both doors. go. That should open both doors up. And it does. What do we got? Aha! This room. Out of my way. The hook shot commands it. And now we gotta push this switch and drain the water out. And we got a heart in here? Yes. Good. I need that. Now let's head down the steps and... See where this takes us. Alright, in this room we got a hidden door. It's hidden underneath one of these waterfalls. And I think it's the second to last one in this room. Yeah, it's probably this one. Yep, that's it. And yeah, walk through that waterfall. Hidden door. Crush these blue buzz blobs. Let's see what other items we get here. Alright, almost back to full again. Eat my hook shot. Ooh, more zoles. Yeah, they like hiding in the floor. Alrighty, we're almost at the boss, guys. 
Just a little bit more. Oh god. Let me try and goad this guy over here. I don't want to jump off the ladder and land on top of him. There's no fun in that. Okay. Unlock this door now, and here we go with the boss, guys. We're the finally here. And you want to start with hookshotting his little... his little puffs or whatever, his orange puff balls. You gotta hookshot them away, he tries to use them. He kinda uses them like Patra does in Zelda 1. He spins them around his body to try and hit you. And extends them outward. Okay, move out of the way. Okay, just a couple more. Got clean. Oh crap, we got it back. Run, Link! Okay. Oh crap, got it back again. Oh crap, he decked me. Get over here. You're not decking me with that again. I, I shall hookshot it away from you. He's not gonna get me with that last one. Get over here. Alright. He's done like dinner now. He is ours. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna... Yeah, better off using the sword. Use charge shots, you'll finish him off quicker. Okay, and... Oh. Get over here, you. And... Black. And you're done. Four spin shots and he's a goner. And another heart container. And our second crystal. Hooray! And that's the end of this swamp palace. Or water palace, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what this second maiden has to say. TK, because of you I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location. But at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Of course. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alright, and it seems like we still got some a fair bit of time left. We could probably fit in the Skull Dungeon, too. That one's relatively quick. Might be cutting it pretty close, though. I don't know, we'll see. I might just get some normal stuff done in this part. Just doesn't seem like we'll have enough time. I don't know what else I could do in this part, but I'll try and find something. Eh, let's... Sort of, oh, actually, I got some stuff I can do for the fill up. We can do that whole flute saga. Alright. And we can pick up another heart piece while we're in the neighborhood, too. Alright, let's cut this bush down. Alright, yeah, you want to get in between this, uh... This diamond-like bush formation and use the mirror. Yeah, watch out for that blue landmine. Eek. Alright, enter this cave and we get another piece of heart. Hooray! Alright, that's one. Three more and we get another heart container. Should be nice. Extend our life meter further. Alright, back to the dark world. Oh god, it's another bull knight. Die. Alright, what we gotta do here to get the flute? We gotta go up here. And we gotta talk to this guy. After wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? Sure. Then I will lend you my shovel. Good luck. You borrowed a shovel, you can dig in many places, you'll never know what you'll find. Yes, to find the flute, we must go back to the light world, so let's do that. And now with the shovel in our possession, let's get it out, and start digging. Wow, found the flute on the first go. 
Oh, here is the flute. Its music surely has a mis mysterious power. And you see that flute boy there? That's actually the same guy that was in the Dark World. Except in his animal form. Thank you, TK, but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man you will see fine there. Well, my mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. Okay, here we go. No, I will not hum at all, don't worry. And he transforms into a tree. Goodbye, dear friend. Alright, now that we have the flute in our possession, we have to go back to Kakariko Village in the Light World. And talk to the old man, like he wanted us to. And we got an arrow shop there. Okay, actually we can't access that portion. Well, we could go for another heart container by playing this treasure game, but I don't know how lucky we'll get. I don't mind doing three games here, and then... Hopefully we'll get lucky and find the heart piece on the first go. Welcome to the treasure field. The object is to dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasure you dig up will be yours. Keep only 80 rubies in play. Sure, let's go. Want to go? Right, let's dig around here. Just dig in all sorts of different places. You might find the heart container, you might not. I don't know. There's no guarantee at all. Usually, most of the time I find it over here, but... Oh, stop digging. Damn, wasting time there. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding it here. You just got to get lucky and hope you hit a good spot. Nope, nothing. Ah. Uh. Alright, I'm going to try two more goes. No, don't use the flute, you fool. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this game two more times. If I don't find the heart piece, I'll try again later on. I don't want to waste too much time here. And plus it's 80 rubies per go, and I don't want to waste too much cash, so... Oh, use a shovel, fool. Trying to hit these spots here. And so far it doesn't look like we're finding it yet. Come on, heart piece. Here, heart piece. Uh, and second time we fail. Oh, man. I cannot find this blasted thing. Alright, last go. I'm not wasting any more cash after this. Like I said, I'll try again in another part if we don't get it. Last time. You just have to get lucky and hope you find it. Because it could be anywhere in this place. Try and dig up this whole section. I have a funny feeling it's gonna be over there though. Just have that instinct. Come on, heart piece, where are you? Show yourself! Ah! Yeah, we're not gonna find it. Damn it. Alright, screw you. I don't feel like playing your game anymore. I'm just freaking giving you money. Alright, let's go talk to that old man. Yeah, you really need a lot of luck to find that heart piece. Okay, back to the light world. Oh man, almost appeared right on top of that knight. Oh man. Okay, let's go get our... Let's go talk to that old man. And there's actually one other thing we gotta do too. And that's get our bird friend. I think I got a melody which will wake him up. Huh? This is my son's flute. Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he alright? Oh, I see. Well, I can tell what you want to say by the look in your eyes. Would you keep the flute and will you play a sweet melody for the bird in the village square? I beg of you, please. My son would probably want it this way. But still, I wish I could see him once more. Hey, when everything goes back to normal, you'll see him again. I will see to it. Alright, let's go to the town square. Blow the whistle right in front of the statue. 
Do 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 do. Hey, we freed a pelican. Oh, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, now we can use our bird friend to go across Hyrule much faster. He'll take us to all different sorts of destinations now. Anyhow, I think we're gonna call it an LP part here, folks. Since I, uh, actually, before I do that, let me get us closer to the Skull Forest since we're like right near that area. I'll get us near the third dungeon for the next part. Still got a minute or two. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't go that way. We need the Titan's Glove to move that dark black block of things. Instead, we can go this way. Each sign. Oh, I don't like this spot that I'm in. Ooh. So close. Come on, get in there. I'm gonna walk around to this side. Dash the bush away. This is going to be the teleporter we need to take to reach uh, the Skull Forest. Alright folks, going to stop it here, so stay tuned for Let's Play. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the SNES Part 6 when we will tackle the Skull Forest Dungeon. And perhaps Blind's Dungeon too if we're lucky. Later, peeps.